Welcome back. I'm Brooke Baldwin. Searchers here in this hunt for Flight 370 have been dealt yet another blow in this desperate search because this torn up metal fragment that washed ashore in Australia is not related to the missing plane. Another false positive here. Also, the U.S. Navy's underwater drone is now more than 90 percent uh, finished in this particular search zone. So joining me to discuss some really bigger picture needs when it comes to oceans, ocean explorer Fabian Cousteau, Mission 31 expedition leader and grandson of ocean pioneer Jacques Cousteau. So Fabian, thank you so much for joining me. Nice to see you, Brooke. So first, let's just begin with really what you're so passionate about, because you say there should be this spearhead or this mission control when it comes to, to future ocean searches and coordinate assets. But, but it, when it comes to this missing plane, I mean, isn't Australia already doing that? What more do you think should be done? Well, I think this is just a, a, a perfect example, and there are many of them out there, of the lack of resources, first of all, and in many cases, uh, the difficulty with which those resources and those folks uh, are coordinated because of the vastness of the oceans, because of the lack of knowledge of the oceans, and, uh, and a mission control, maybe in one in every continent, would certainly help with that network. When we talk about resources, I've talked to so many people specifically about the Bluefin 21, this, this AUV that's been deployed 10, 11, 12 times on this mission, thus far turning up nothing. Um, I hear there's only eight of these in the world. They're using one. What other, Fabian, what other types of equipment could, could be used either with, you know, in conjunction with the Bluefin or once the Bluefin um, is finished? Well, the Bluefin 21 is certainly an excellent piece of kit and, uh, and is being used uh, as it should be in its role. Uh, it would be wonderful to have a fleet of them to be able to cover a larger area in the same amount of time. But as you pointed out, there are very few of them out there. Mm -hmm. There are other tools out there, ROVs, AUVs, and of course submersibles that have their depth limits uh, that can be used in this particular circumstance in the right order and in the right fashion and only if we have have tangible evidence of where to search which we don't and that's the problem right don't. so I mean not that you're not in the weeds in this you're not you're not leading this investigation but let me just throw this at you this hypothetical if you were just given your knowledge what would you be using well, I, I certainly, uh, I'm not involved in this search, um, and I sympathize with those folks who have dedicated all this time for the search because it is an extraordinarily difficult endeavor. Uh, I don't think I'd be doing too many things differently, and I'm sure they probably feel the frustration of the lack of tools and, uh, and, and, and knowledge yeah. uh, to be able to do this search. Um, it's, it's a very difficult endeavor, and of course, the weight of all those poor people who are waiting for an answer uh, certainly is a burden on their shoulders. We have been, uh, you know, reading these reports that officials are considering re revisiting calculations of where this plane may be, maybe expanding the search. Again, back to the notion that, you know, much of the this part of the world and probably oceans in general uh, haven't been mapped, lack of lack of information. What do you think of the idea of expanding the search? Well, I, you know, I've said this for weeks that with the lack of information, lack of tangible anchor points of information, uh, this is best case scenarios, which is really not a good way to proceed in, in terms of ocean exploration. We've explored less than 5% of our oceans. It's amazing. Therefore, this is really, really uh, a shot in the dark, so to speak. Less than 5%. To Fabian, date. Tell me, tell me about Mission 31. How is this paying <laughs> tribute to your grandfather? Well, and, and because of the, we certainly didn't time this uh, according to the focus on oceans recently, but Mission 31 is a, an epic ad adventure expedition uh, that I'm leading to take six people to go and live and work underwater for over 31 days. Uh, and we aim to connect with the general public to literally bring them along for the first time ever live on an ocean expedition, hmm. Cousteau expedition, if you will, through tangible medias that everyone's used to, through these little devices, these things that we carry in our pockets every day. So we'll be able to project through Wi-Fi underwater to the public at large in all seven continents. It's incredible. Again, it's called Mission 31. We will be checking on you when this happens. Fabian Cousteau, thank you so much. My pleasure.